Hello everybody. It's me, your favorite giraffe factory, and that was that was a weird intro. Um <laughs> I am working on my plan here. Um not very hard, mind you. I'm not too good in the thinking department here today. So I'm trying to figure out, right? So last time we left off and took in eleven nomads, which is like a lot of people. Look at all these people. Um uh, so some of them are children, some of them are, some of them are adults, um, mostly adults, but a lot of children, and if all of them grow up at the right time, we're gonna have a full schoolhouse, but I think that's kind of okay. Um, we need to focus on subsistence rather than education, honestly, because this game is brutal, <laughs> the end, so let's... So let's do that. Let's do exactly that. Let's get our focus on. We need to make some road right there. And I'm going to put in another farm of some kind right here. Um, if we stagger the sorts of farms we create, we'll be smarter for it. And better off, rather. So if we do a 10 by 10 right here, orchard then we will produce, we can produce nuts over here, right? Chestnuts. And that'll be good. So, let's do that. Um, let's get two more fishermen in. Let's put the gatherer up to four. Forester up to four. That's great. Let's put on two stone cutters. And now we have three laborers in reserve, which is a good thing. Um, you know what? Uh, you know what? No, actually, we. I think we do need to do the stone cutter. No, we don't. No, we don't. We, not until we have a lot of people in reserve. I think. So, I think that that's that's ahead of us. That's that's beyond us at the moment. Um, gonna make these. So actually, for now, let's put up some builders. Actually, four builders will be good, because I'm going to go across this river here. It's time to to uh, to bridge the river, right? So, wooden bridge. And we'll put it we'll put it like right here. Sound good? Sounds good. Do it. And then we're going to cut down all this stuff over here. Um, gather up all the stone, cut down all these logs, and then we're going to be um, sitting on a lot of resources, and we're going to use all those resources to build houses. And that's how we're going to do this. Um, what do we need right now? We need farmers, right? Maybe we don't need so many builders at the moment, but we do need farmers. Farmer. Boom. Boom. Right? Yeah. Chestnut orchard there. Bam. You should have two people. Logs is low. Yep, it always is, isn't it? Okay, we can cut down a couple of trees back here, right? No, that's not how you cut down trees. Well, I mean, I guess it is, but not the way we want. Okay, grab those. So we need to make a new cemetery as well, and I'm not entirely sure how I want to do that. I think I might put it right here, just because we've already got one right here and I feel like it'd be nice to have them next to each other so we can't really touch this area because this area is a large source of income for us but we do need to create a lot more food right now because 11 more people is significant when we had only six more people we started running out of food and now we're still draining our food again so we need to create lots and lots of food um, I'm also gonna up our food limit because our food limit is pretty low compared to how many people we have in reserve because if we were to lose food production due to a disaster we might be might be messed up um, what was the rule I was talking about way back when um, I was talking about how much you need per person and it was something like it was something like a hundred per person so having so having 4,000 food every 
wait, hold on. Why don't we just ask our town hall? Production, right? Food. So used in one year, 6,000. And that was before we had 11 more people. So what is our... What about over five years? We've used 26,000 in five years. That's okay. So we need a lot of food. We need to produce at least 5,000 food every time. So now we need actually a lot of food, and we need to have a pretty good store of it as well now. So let's put it up to 20,000, right? Double our previous limit. Now whenever we start getting positive on food again, we'll be set for a while. But right now it's critical because if we don't get everyone fed uh, fed and in a good bed, fed in bed, then we won't uh, see this population stay very long. So we're gonna have to... okay, wait. Wait on the houses. Um, we've got all these things built, right? I think we need to focus on getting a little bit more food first because we've got the people to, to put there, right? We've got three extra people right now. I think that that's okay. How many food did you produce last season? 700. That's good. That's seven people, right? Um, seven people for two. That's a good, that's a good number. What do you produce? You still produce like a lot, right? 1,300. So almost twice as much uh, I think they produce more than that on average. Apples, um, more apples down here, right? And you haven't done anything yet because they haven't grown up. Okay. That's the thing about orchards. Uh, they do take a while to get settled and ready. So this is not going to produce food for us yet. Um, four fishermen should be okay. They've already gathered one person's worth. Um, but let's see. We do need to get more more stuff, right? We could produce... I think we could produce more food through the gatherer's huts. Like, if we had another gatherer's hut, I don't... that might work, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 people. Almost 16 people. So 15 people's worth out of a gatherer's hut. Although, they may need to eat these things in larger amounts, so... So, probably not that many. It's more, probably more like 10. 10 to 12, maybe? I don't know. I'm making that up. Okay, so... We should get... We should get more farms, is the thing. So, I'm gonna put in a farm right here, too. Okay, so... Farm, right? Crop field. Um... They'll be using this storage barn, I think. So... Just put that right there. Another 10 by 10. It'll take two more people, but it'll be okay. I hope it'll be okay. <laughs> um, I think if we drop the builder back down to one, for now it'll be alright. Uh, we're mostly going to be doing gathering resources and building um, food outputs. So we need that crop field. What do we have? What is this? Beans? We have beans and we have corn. Let's do a cabbage field over here. Okay, and now we need two farmers. And then we have two laborers. And now we all have, we have a bridge over here. So this is how we're going to get all of our firewood and our logs and everything that we need for a little while. So let's cut down all the trees. Bam. Um, a big problem, actually, with going over here is that our closest stockpile is right here, right? And we have been kind of burning through our resources, but uh, and that's a problem of its own. But a bigger problem, I think, is that we need to put a closer stockpile over here, because if we don't, then we're going to regret it, I believe. Because if we, like, start working over here, and they have to carry them all the way back over here. That seems like a pretty large waste of time, doesn't it? So we're going to use this little corner right here, I think. Oh, can't fit it right there. Okay, hold on. Put it right there, then. Next to the trader, I think that that's like a, that's a legit spot, right? Um, 
and which it should be like a it should be a good size but not huge I think right next to the trader is fine um, I think a 7x7 seven seven is probably plenty of space could do a 5x5 five five, right let's see I think a I think a 5x5 five five would probably be good reading you 5x5 five five. okay let's grab stone now we need lots of stone because I'm also about to make some stone path action to speed up production everywhere. Okay, food looks okay at the moment. We're gonna find out though, that's for sure. We need to grab a bunch of stone. We're gonna do some stone paths, but first we're going to do stone houses, right? Oh, thank god that fits there. I did not plan ahead for this, so <laughs> that's really convenient. Okay. Let's just put it right there, and we'll build, we're going to build some paths soon anyway. Great. So how many do those need each? You need 40 each. So we're going to need to get some, some more stone gathering going on. Oh, there's some stone up there, isn't there? Okay. Um, the problem is, right now, it's winter. And I don't want to make them walk all the way out there in the middle of winter because they're gonna have to come back and eat and do all those things because the citizens what they do is when they're hungry if there is food available in their home nearby then they will just go right back home to eat like immediately after doing something or not after uh, but while they're trying to do something and they'll um, and they'll waste a lot of time walking back and forth is apparently like the big thing right I think I've talked with you about this a few times, uh, and going back and forth is the is the death of them, is, and that's the problem. Okay, so we got the all the stone and the logs and the iron. Um, all right, it's time to gather more iron again. Awesome. Boom. Boom. Okay, and then we will... We have to go up and grab more stone up here is the biggest problem that we have right now. Wow, really? 30? We're almost set on stone, actually. Stone. Get that stone right there. I chose that one because no reason. Okay. Grab that stone up there, and that should be... I think that'll be enough stone to do these, these houses right here. Let's talk to this farm. How are you doing, farm? You're planting now. Perfect. Early spring. Planting the cabbage. The cabbage fields there. Uh, I'm going to put a road right here just for fun. Because I like the way the dirt roads look in between the, the farms there. Okay. This. I don't think we can do much to improve this area, honestly. We've got a path for people that go around, right? Which is good. But other than that, I don't know what else we could do there. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. So now, now we've now we done it. <laughs> we made the game, made the game pretty, uh, pretty challenging again. So we're kind of in the same boat we were in like at the beginning, right? Too many people, too many mouths, right? This is always the problem, isn't it? This is a recurring theme. Let's get. We have tons of logs now. We still need stone, don't we? That's just working, right? How many people do we have? We have tons of laborers paused. Okay. Builder, because we are building, right? Okay. Now we're rolling in people, aren't we? Don't need an herbalist. We could use something like more farmers, right? Because we do need more farms. We don't have any livestock to use, do we? Uh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Trade items, nothing. Okay, okay. So that orchard's there. I, uh, we're so we're dropping food, but this should produce a couple more food this season. Um and we can produce a little bit more food by putting another farm up here. So we can do that. Let's put in a little put in a little dirt path. Uh right there put it around like that. I like just like the way that looks. Um, food. Food, food, food. It's all about the food with you people. Okay. 
We could, and probably should, put another hunting cabin somewhere. Because, like, if we're gonna... You know what? For once, I kind of want to look at this map. Map. Okay. That is really hard to see. That is so small. Um, oh, look. I got my little view rotated a little bit. There, there we go. Closer. Nope. Oh, how do I... Wait. Why is this, like, a clicker instead of a rotator. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, so, look at that. We're actually taking up a nice little amount of the map here. It's neat. I like that. It looks really cool. Like, you can actually tell that we're here. <laughs> That's really sweet. So, this whole forest right here, we could dedicate to stuff like hunting game and gathering leather, right? Because there's plenty of forest up there to use. Uh, this is our little miniature forest for nearby stuff, uh, like gathering and herbs and stuff, but we could use this forest over here as game, right? Instead of expanding up like that, uh, we could just go over this way next time we want to get more area, right? If we want to expand in this direction next, perhaps, we could come over here uh, across this river, right? Because we already have paths and stuff here. So I'm thinking... Uh, another hunter's cabin. Hunter's lodge, or whatever they call it. Hunting cabin. Um, especially if we have so many extra laborers, because I'm, I fear we're going to fall behind on leather if we continue as we are. So, I'm going to grab... Where'd it go? Resource production, right? Maybe not. Food? Yep, food. Okay. Where is this one's reach? It's about there. So we probably don't want to overlap. We don't want to. We don't want to um, outstretch our. Over over overstep our uh, our bounds here. Let's maybe use that area. It's kind of got a hill in it. Two hills in it, in fact. Maybe not there. I don't want to put it like too terribly far away because that just seems like a terrible idea, right? Although I guess we could build stone paths in between, and then they would not mind as much. So if I did put it north, around there, I'm trying to keep track of that with my, with my head brain, it's not working so well. I guess if we do that right around there, then they don't overlap too much, and that'll have that'll have its own area. So I'm doing it. I'm doing it, guys. Okay, doing that. Uh, we need to gather some. Need to gather some stone. There's some stone out here, which is a, a big plus. Let's do that. Okay. Awesome. And we can create... Let's do three builders, right? Because that's how many new hunters we have. So maybe not that many builders soon, but... Maybe not that many hunters, I mean... But we will, for now, this is uh, this is good because we can. Now we have a good focus on. Uh, this will produce more food and more leather, so that's great. Actually, it's probably one of the best things we could have done. I think. Pepper seeds. Pepper. I don't even know why. Maybe I could trade pepper. Is pepper a, a useful commodity in this era of the world? Um, I don't, I don't know if we can even afford that. Uh, I guess we can, but I don't want to. <laughs> um, I'd rather have livestock right now, honestly. I'm going to have to dismiss you. Uh, so get out of here. So where did I put that building? There it is. So a lot of stuff needs to be removed. We've got three out of three people working on it, which is good. Okay, so we need only needs 12 stone, so we are actually set on the stone front. Uh, we really should make some paths, though. Some more paths up here, because otherwise we're going to... Ah, here it is. Okay. That's really it? Oh, there it is. Okay. There. So, right, we want to put it like that. And then we want to put the road down this way. That... Why? Why are you doing it like that? Alright. 
Why do you want to do me like that? Come on now. Why don't you just... There you go. Smart build that path. Now... We could... Yeah, I guess that'll be okay, right? Um... If that was stone... 90. 90 stone, that'll cost her a place. Um, and it'll just take a little bit of work to create... Okay, let's hope let's hope that that's good. Uh, we are running low on items here. We have tons of firewood, but only a couple logs in that one. I guess all of our logs are over here. Yep, and that's what laborers are for, I suppose. You, you got plenty of stuff. Okay. Now, yeah, I only put this here because um, when you gather items they go straight to a stockpile, not to a place like a merchant or a market. And so it's, I think it's uh, better for you if you, better for us, if we, 700, that's not bad. That's great, actually. Um, it'd be better for us if we have a stockpile there. We'll cut down walking time and everything. And then up here, my plan is to put some stone paths in, right? So. All right, yeah, we got building now. Um, once we have enough stone, which we, we're going to need uh, probably a couple hundred to put all the paths in that I want, but that's going to be my next focus. Um, as soon as I can see that this number is going up, that will be my focus. Not the map. Okay. Builders. Let's cut that down to two again, because that's not necessar necessary. Um, 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 um. We are, we are producing lots of children. Are we still living in the boarding house? No, that is good. That is great. Who die? Oh, oh, that's sad. I'm sorry. That's sad. Darn. Um. Let's. Yeah, so we need to make some more houses. I think that's a that's a good idea. I also think we might want to make a tunnel, to be honest. If we made a tunnel, I think it would cut down travel times between these houses and the rest of everyone. So if they like really want to work over as the hunters, then they can still work over there. So we might want to make a tunnel, but I think the tunnels cost a lot of stone is the problem, and we need to make stone, not lose it. Yeah, that's a lot of stone. Okay, so first we're going to make stone paths because that will also increase our travel, uh, decrease our travel time. So we need to find some stone through all this snow. God, that's a lot of snow. Get out of here, snow. Okay. We need to collect stone. So there's tons of stone over here, right? So let's start clearing it out. What? Am, what why is it not clearing? There we go. Stone. Grab that stone, and then we're going to grab that stone. And that is going to be a lot of stone. And then, soon we're going to be able to start um, putting people into the stone cutter and have it be worthwhile. Because I think if we have like five or something in there, then it'll actually be worth it. Because they'll produce enough stone to make a couple of paths or something every year, right? Hey, right, trader, what's up? I think these uh, chestnuts are almost ready to start being uh, useful. Pecan seeds. No thank you. I don't know how many times I can tell you not to bring me pecans or other seeds. I, th I just want the livestock, please. Okay, and so we're racking up the stone. That's good. This place has one hunter. Oh, they split the hunters. Whoops. Um, I'm not sure if that's good or not. I think that it might be good. But either way, it is probably a waste of resources to uh, not fill at least one of them up, right? So, more hunters. Well, that's actually awesome, right there. I think we'll take six hunters. That's a good thing. And then we will make this path, at least, be stone, right? Is this where the path is? Does it like automatically follow the old path? No, it doesn't. Okay. 
And that is where the path is, right there. Okay, good. Perfect. And that. And we'll see how much that costs, because I didn't read those numbers. And I can't just rewind the video. <laughs> so, let's do that. You have been producing exactly the same number still. Oh, this apple orchard's now functioning, though. That's nice. That should help, at least, with the ale. I guess it's a matter of whether or not the ale, the apples make it to the to the tavern or to the mouths first, right? Uh, herbalist. Herbalist is keeping everyone healthy. Look at that. Maybe that's just because we had new people. Okay, so 17 students. We are pushing that limit, aren't we? And I'm okay with that. Let's see what's going on up here. You are educated. Awesome. Let's, all right, let's talk to our town hall. Overview. Educated, still high, still high, almost three quarters. That's really good, I like that. Oh my, we really are uh, getting all the students, aren't we? Now, here's a question. Is it worth it to put another schoolhouse over here? and put a few more homes in. Is that worth it? I mean, we are going to try to... I'm a, I kind of want to have a little line of houses here, right? Another another few houses. Maybe even here? So a schoolhouse right here might be a good idea, right? And then we can fit in a couple more farms or something over here. Um, and maybe a, another fishing dock. We are starting to gather people more rapidly. I think as you grow, growth becomes exponential, right? This is often true in games of numbers. Um, I think in a couple houses over here. We're going to need a new cemetery as well, by the way. I think in a couple houses over here would be good. Yeah, I think that would be good. Oh, I think all of our logs from the forester are going there now. That's not closer, though. Maybe not. Maybe that's just from all this stuff, right? So, yeah. Let's let's see how these paths are coming along. We need to put a path here, too. I think we might want to put in another schoolhouse, honestly. Yeah, okay. So we are filling up our homes. So we're going to need more homes and more schoolhouses. And it's going to be worth our while to make them, to make all the new ones stone in the first place. No one wants to live with you, Valen the Herbalist. That's unfortunate. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. What if we built a house right here? It wouldn't really interfere, right? Like, just like one little house. Maybe they can all live here. That'd be cute. We'll think about that cute ideas come after practical ones. Oh, we are eating our food, aren't we? Darn, man. Hold on. Okay, so these orchards are now starting to produce, right? Last season, this one produced 600 more apples, which is great. Whoa, whoa. I just saw a hunger symbol in, the, in this bar. Did you see that? Am I making that up? How did you produce beans? <laughs> Look at that. Beans. Okay. What? What's up? Oh, you're finally at the tool limit. Okay. Haven't we been under that a little bit? It might have been a, a tool year, as I like to think of them. What did you make this year? You made 700. You're really good at making exactly that number, aren't you? Are we making that path? How's that path coming along, guys? Do you need more builders for it? No. Builders aren't specifically needed for paths, apparently. I guess you were all doing your farming before you... Yeah. Okie dokie. Oh, nice. Ooh, you are really good at moving those chestnuts, aren't you? Chestnuts. That's a lot of chestnuts. That's not bad. What do you produce? Fishing guys. Four people for not even a thousand fish. That's not a great number. Where are you going? Are you still clearing stuff out up here? For real? I must have paused for longer than I thought I did. <laughs> Yeah, you're still clearing that stone. Wow. That is weird stuff. Did I slow down time? No. 
If I could slow down time. I don't... I've been singing a lot in these last couple episodes. Maybe I should take a break. I might be losing my mind. <laughs> Let's see. We have so much stuff. Yeah, what's up with that? Okay, there's someone who's hungry. Getting something to eat. Okay, so we don't have food close enough to everything. I think it's because I've, I've been sending them out really far. So, I mean, like, we have food. Um... They just need to go home and eat. What? Did you just die? Dude, what? Uh oh, we're cold too? Oh, well, okay, hold on a minute. Okay, it's all these people out here, right? Because they're walking really, really far away to gather stuff. So, whatever's left out here, I'm going to cancel. What? I don't have to do that? They already got it all? Stop removal tasks in the selected area, right? So just like cancel anything there, okay? Now go home and stop starving. I've been I've been stretching out too far, right? Now go warm up. Go somewhere and warm up, dude. Don't don't die. You got clothing and stuff, right? Okay, cool. Everyone's okay. Everyone's okay. Don't worry. All right, that was this is getting weird and scary. All right. Okay. So they're all Y'all need to go home and get warm. Get warm, would you? What? Where are you going? Why are you up there? I told you to go home. Okay? I told you all to stop gathering anything up there. Stop everything up here, okay? We don't need anything up there. If I see another person go across this bridge, I, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> What? What do you have for me? Pumpkins. Pumpkins. Ooh, delicious. Delicious, delicious pumpkins. Mm, not worth it, though. Since I can't trade my mother flipping herbs to the seed trader, it's kind of hard to... Kind of hard to make enough stuff here. Why don't we... Why don't we go up to... Let's go up to, like, 150 there. Um... Pumpkins. Maybe, maybe take a pumpkins. Uh oh, I gotta sneeze. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, it went away. Oh, come on. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Alright. How much do we have here? We need 200 more, right? We would have that in hide coats. Um. Okay, so we can unpause time. Stored food is, yeah, it's it's okay. So we doubled our limit on food, and we're still only kind of sticking even right now. We're not producing extra. Um, so kind of hoping for a little bit of progress here. Is this road like built or like what? Did you finish it all? All right, let's see what's going on over here. Did we get those extra items we wanted? Yes. So. Let's see what we got. Don't need 200 units. 25. There. Bunch of iron tools and everything. Prefer pumpkins. Pumpkins. Trade. Good. How many extra people do we have? A lot. Okay, this is good. This is good. Let's make another 10x10 10 10 field, right? If we can make another 10x10 10 10 right here, we can start making even more food, which is great. Make a 10x10. 10 10x10. 10. 10 10. Reading you 5x5. Five five. Alright. Pumpkins. Beautiful. Assign two more farmers. Farmers. Get a little bit of road action here. Like that. And we built one path, right? Now let's build some homes because we want more homes for the people who are kind of crowded here. Because students like to move out of their home when they grow up into proper citizens. Let's do that, right? Can we fit a second home in there? Ooh, we can, can't we? 
we're gonna do it. And then you're gonna have an alley behind your house, unfortunately. Deal with it. And let's just start with dirt. Dirt McGirt. Oh right, we wanted to put a stone path here anyway, didn't we? Let's do that. Let's just stretch it right down there, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Like right there. Yeah. Alright, cool. Alrighty. Alrighty, well. Um, yeah, so we're kind of okay. We sort of outstretch our, you know, our range there for a second. I think it's time to start start getting the quarry up and running, given our uh, stone situation. And, um, yeah, and we might need another cemetery soon, because I'm sure everyone's getting old. But we got some houses and stuff, right? Oh, iron. Hello. So we got everything kind of rolling. We want to get... Grab some iron, right? This is a nice iron pocket we've been ignoring. Um... Yeah, why not? Just grab all the iron, would you? Okay, but we are doing okay. We are definitely okay. We got more people than ever, and we're starting to have to figure out some weird solutions here, because can't figure out exactly how much stuff we need, right? Trying to figure out trying to figure out how we want to build more houses and mm -hmm. schools and stuff. So we're kind of working on um kind of working on managerial issues now. Oh, nomads. How many? No. No way. Sorry guys. Got to turn that down. Um wow. Uh we gotta get more established first. We gotta we wanna top off our food and get all our resources running again before we uh invite anyone else in. Uh we we can't even hit our log limit with our foresters, you know. So anyway. What? Oh, it just wasn't going away. Okay. Yeah, so we're doing okay. Wow, we actually have a couple alcohol? No way. How much are you making now? Not much more than before. I guess because we just don't have a lot of food anymore, either. Okay, so anyway, um, look, look here, all right? You've got the logs, you've got the iron. I'm trying to end an episode, so just, just shush, would you? Let's go back to five times. Now everything should go slower. All right, so, behold our forest myth. I, I can't just go away. Um, yeah, so we are doing pretty well now, right, guys? I think we are. Let's put a couple builders. Okay. Um, we're gonna stack a bunch of stone cutters in there, and that should. Whoops, that's not what I meant. Bam. And now we can actually produce some stone, right? Did I assign the wrong job? No, I did not. What is your problem now? Yeah, you got that. Okay, so, everybody, I'm trying to end the episode, and I've just been rambling on. Well, uh, our forest myth is growing. We are we are doing a great job. So, um, yeah. So next time we're gonna figure out why the hell we have no no uh, no tools, even though we've got a blacksmith and logs. So, until then, I hope you enjoy, and uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy your time. <laughs> I hope y'all stay well. I will do the same. If you liked the video, please let me know by liking it on the YouTubes. And until then, uh, until then being next time, I will uh, s stay happy and healthy and junk. I d I've lost, I lost my role. I lost my, lost my groove here. All right. Well, until next time, y'all stay happy and healthy. I'll do the same, and I'll talk to you then. Bye bye, y'all.